Hi. Now in this tutorial what I want to introduce you to is the remainder theorem. That's this theorem up here. And essentially the remainder theorem gives us a quick way of finding the remainder when a polynomial f of x is divided by something of the form ax minus b where a and b are constants and that remainder is given by f of b over a. And to demonstrate this what I've got is an example here. Find the remainder when 4x cubed plus 5x minus 1, here's our polynomial, and it's divided by, in the first case, x minus 2, and in the second case, 2x plus 1. Now, if ever you get a question like this, find the remainder when in something's divided by, say, x minus 2, it's very tempting to just divide x minus 2 into your polynomial by using algebraic long division. Something like this. Now if you do do this, okay, algebraic long division, and by the way, if you're unsure of algebraic long division, you should find a link on the page that you're viewing this video if you're viewing it on my website, or if not, you can go on my website, look in the tutorial index for algebraic long division, and you'll get a tutorial showing you how to do this. So assuming that you're happy with long division, okay, then the remainder would be 41. So we'll just put that down, okay? But as I said, this is not really the best way of doing this kind of problem because it just takes too long. If we use the remainder theorem up here, we can get the remainder so quickly. I'll show you. All we need to do is, first of all, define our polynomial f of x. So what we we'll just say is let f of x be equal to 4x cubed plus 5x minus 1. Now the remainder is given by, just put that in, f of, now f of b over a. And when we compare x minus 2 to ax minus b, Hopefully you can see that the a, the number in front of the x, is a 1 in this example, and the b, be careful here, is just the 2. We've got this minus here, so we've got the minus there, so b is 2. And so the remainder is given by f of b over a, so that would be 2 over 1, so f of 2. And you can get this value very easily just by putting this equal to 0. If x minus 2 equals 0, x would equal 2. And it's 2 that you'd put into here. So the remainder is equal to f of 2, according to the remainder theorem. And that would mean that we substitute 2 for x in here. So we'd get 4 times 2 cubed, plus 5 times 2, minus 1. And what does this come to? Well, 2 cubed is 8. 4 8's are 32, plus 5 2's are 10, that's now 42. Take away 1, 41. Our remainder here. So how easy was that? How quick was that? It's, it's brilliant, okay? So well worth remembering the remainder theorem. Now in my next example, we're going to find out the remainder when the polynomial is divided by 2x plus 1. And again, you could do algebraic long division. Here we are. And again, it's going to take you some time to do. To discover that the remainder here is minus 4. And I've written it out here. But if we've got f of x defined, then the remainder is just going to be very easy. Because all we need to do is to take our expression 2x plus 1, Think of it as equaling 0, so that would mean that 2x would equal minus 1, and then x would equal minus a half. So the remainder is given by f of minus a half. So all I need to do now is just substitute minus a half then into our expression here for f of x. So we're going to have 4 times minus a half all cubed plus 5 times minus a half, and then 
minus the 1. And if you work that out, you'll find you get the remainder of minus 4. And again, so much quicker. OK, well, hope that's given you an idea of the remainder theorem and uh, should be able to work out some examples now using that idea.